Alrighty, welcome back to Crappy Design, starting off with number 19. That doesn't look right. I get what they were going for, but it just makes it seem like Bruce ripped out his friend's eyes. We already have the commentary for us here on this one. That's not what lasers look like. Lasers look like just straight beams of light. In fact, unless you're in a dusty room, you can't even see the straight beam of light until it hits its destination. Why is it like all over the place? That's not what they look like at all. And to add to that, like, it's all red around his eyes. Like, there's blood accumulating to the spot that just received a lot of damage. I mean, Batman vs. Superman, that was a whole thing. So, maybe that's actually what happened. Superman not so indestructible, after all. The kryptonite, it goes to your eyes first. I had this... I just bit my tongue speaking. And that's crappy design. Had this suitcase for two years and I only just noticed it says sample texts. How, are you, did you really only just notice that? Cause it's pretty apparent. When I, you know, pack my little carry-on suitcase that I've taken with me most places for like 10 years, I see the logo on there. If the logo said sample text, like I would have noticed that pretty right away. Two years seems like a long time, unless this is the first time you've gone on a trip and used it in two years, in which case I totally understand, but fairly clearly sample text right there. I don't know if it's crappy design so much as, oops, we forgot about that. This is actually gonna be worth a lot of money. Take it to Antiques Roadshow in like several decades, they're gonna be like, ah, this is one of the classic misprints of the famous so-and-so designer luggage collection. It is worth $10,000. Congratulations. When YouTube deletes a video and it's no longer in your playlist and you'll never know what it was. Oh my God. Yes. Why is this a thing? So when I, it's rare that I delete a video if it happens. It's usually because there was some error in the video, in, in the edit that wasn't caught before it goes up. But it might have already been added to the playlist because usually it's added to the playlist like pretty much instantaneously. But if you don't then manually go and remove it from the playlist, it'll just be a deleted video that exists in the playlist. YouTube, it's been 10 years since I started making videos. Why is this still a thing? Why does, I like, why is a deleted video in the playlist still? It just shouldn't be there. How is anybody gonna watch the deleted video? Is there a reason why it shows as deleted video in the playlist? Shouldn't it just go away? Like, you can't search for it anymore. When you search for the video, it doesn't say, ah, oh, deleted video, sorry, you can't watch it, but we'll show it in the search results. No, why is it in the playlist? It doesn't show it on my channel page. When you're going through somebody's uploads, it doesn't say deleted video. It just doesn't show it anymore. Why playlists? I don't understand. It's, it's, it's so weird, I don't know why. My keyboard lights up, but you can't see any letters at night. They lit up the, the surroundings of the keys, but they forgot to, let some light through the, you know, the letter itself. Yeah, that, that actually, it makes it harder to see, you know? Because, you know, at least if the keyboard didn't light up, then maybe your eyes would adjust, even though your monitor is kind of bright, and you'd be able to kind of pick out the key if you didn't know where something was on your keyboard. This way, though, like, this is it's for professional keyboard users, where they have everything perfectly mapped out and memorized. Don't need to look at the keyboard ever. The single worst clock I have ever seen. I actually said aloud, why? Who thought this was a good idea? Did they take a clock that was once an actual clock and then hit it with a hammer? And then they like, they, they took a string, you know, they measured out how many degrees goes to each of the, the numbers on the clock. What would it be? Uh, uh, 30, 30 times, 12 would be 360, so it'd be 30 degrees. They just, they mapped out the lines and then they just <laughs> placed a number somewhere along the line of 30 degree increments. Why not do that? I can't possibly think of a reason why all clocks aren't just discombobulated messes of tiles that look like they were smashed with a hammer and then we'll just put that there and there. I, mm, this is, this is a DIY as well as a crappy design. Everyone in Wyoming has, uh, AIDS now? Sorry, I don't make the rules. What what even are this? Wyoming has AIDS? Is that, like, are they referring to, like, people who aid and assist other people in things? Or is it just, like, AIDS as a disease is present in Wyoming? Which, I, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would imagine that it is. It's, it's interesting phrasing. 
that I don't quite understand. I guess they're trying to say that, you know, we are here for the people of Wyoming who have AIDS and we're here to treat them, but it's like it's a it's a strange way to phrase it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm not sure why. My friend's apartment has a half bathroom on the ground floor. This is the view from the street. A solution exists for this. <laughs> you know, it might be dumb that this window does exist and you can see it from the sidewalk, but also you could buy curtains if, you know, if you want to do that, or if you really wanted to DIY it and not even a D-I-W-H-Y, but just a DIY, you could, you could just like tape a blanket up there in the meantime, while you're waiting on the curtains to be installed, just, just something. You have options here. Or you could just put a decal on the inside of the window that just, it looks like someone's always taking a dump in there. And then you put the curtains behind it and then you could have some fun with it. This jumpsuit I bought from and promptly returned to Walmart. <laughs> Uh, it's just, you know, it's, it's, they didn't really think about where they were cutting the seams of the fabric. And <laughs> it's, you know, at least you're going to be able to tell everyone about your Walmart jumpsuit experience. And they're going to be like, what are you, are you using that as a euphemism? You'll be like, no, I actually bought a jumpsuit from Walmart. I liked it. And then, and then I realized where the seams kind of meet and how it, how it fit on me. It looks more stylish than what I would expect from someone saying Walmart jumpsuit. Walmart's got some style other than the slight miss in, in a particular area. I'm not gonna highlight, but you, if you notice, you notice. I can feel that carpet under my wet toes already. No, this is the worst. Oh my God, why? God, this is flashbacks to my grandma had in a, a very nice condo, like a very, very nice condo, but it had a bathroom that had carpet in it. Why put carpet ever in a bathroom? Stone, okay, I'm sorry, but bathrooms are tile floors only. Tile, stone, anything waterproof, grout in the seams, no ifs, ands, or buts, that's all there is to it. Don't do other stuff. It's dumb, okay? There's no reason for any other material in the bathroom, especially not carpet, because that is just, that's, that's the worst. That's just gross. That's absolutely, and, and it goes up to the lip of the bathtub? Why would you do that? You upholstered the bathtub itself. Unbelievable. I'm sorry I'm dwelling on this one, but this is some next level. Sounds like an invite to your own demonetization. What happens when you demonetize? Come and find out. Sundays at 10 a.m. Wait. Oh. Oh, I get it now. I was, I'm like, wait, wait like, are you, you gonna, you gonna tell me like what it's like, how, how you, if somebody, you know, demonetizes you or, or what happens when I grow old and I inevitably have a disease and I, I demonetize? Are you gonna just tell me what that's like? Cause it doesn't sound particularly fun. I'd rather not. I, 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 oh, 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 I get it. It's a church. Okay. Interesting way to try to like market to people. Cause I feel like there are more positive ways that you could market that than, I don't know, the demonization aspect with a picture of a coffin six feet under. But you know, maybe, maybe fear is is a selling point or something or comfort in knowing i don't ah you could just ah there, there are more pleasant topics to draw people in i feel i don't know man that's a weird one to go for you got a lot of options there you got like tons of options and you went with that one i don't know man maybe it's working maybe it's working for him my wife can't take pills if they're too big oh my god am i your wife because this is me actual size Bro, this this would be the end of me. If I see actual size on a package and then I'm presented with something that is actually like five times the volume, I'm just, I'm out of there. I can't do it. I'm so bad at swallowing pills. So bad. But I will say I had people who messaged me after I told them in one of the previous videos, the capsule swallowing technique of tilt your head forward. This isn't a capsule, this one sinks, so it doesn't apply here. But if it's a capsule that floats, you tilt your head forward, that thing just goes to the back of your throat, you're good to go. That's a lifesaver. But I still don't have a solution for these ones. Like, I can't do it. You just tilt the head back and then it just like, 
I don't know. Oh god, I hate swallowing pills. It's so bad. Oh, I could. I can't. Like when I see other people who can just take like four large pills at one time, just throw them down in an instant. I'm like, I, I don't. You're gonna be really good at being old. I'm gonna just demonetize. Absolute unit found at a mall. You might not like it, but this, <laughs> this is what peak performance looks like. <laughs> what the heck is this? What is this mannequin? I want to see what this mannequin is marketed as. Cartoonish proportions mannequin. And you were just like, yeah, sure, we'll use this to display our clothing. It'll work perfectly as it's being stretched to the absolute maximum so that you take it off and it's it's got to, you know... It's never gonna go back to the way it was before. But I guess, you know, if you put the clothing in the dryer, it shrinks a bit, you just put it on this absolute unit, it gets it back to where it was to begin with. So that's what it's for. This is the post-first dryer stretching unit. Also, the eyebrows here are striking, dude. They went ham on the eyebrows. This dude going crazy with them. Oh boy. I can't really decide if I'm dumb for walking on pebbles or if this is just bad design. It's kind of oddly satisfying though, in a way. Just the fact that those little holes in the shoe are just the perfect size to capture the little pebbles that you were walking on. I don't know, it's kind of great. And over time, it's gonna add more weight to the shoe. Like progressively, you'll pick up more and more stones and then you'll be traveling with more and more weight. And then I assume these are for walking. So you burn more and more calories as you're taking more weight along. Really, this is just a genius design for fitness. So you, you must have missed the documentation on the product when you bought it. You just bought it because it looked cool, but in reality you bought high tech stuff. Thanks for sharing my IP with the world while streaming. Heads up, your IP address is showing. That's, that's like, Somebody coming up and pantsing you and be like, hey, just so you know, your, uh, your, your Richard is showing. And so, yeah, thanks, because you pulled my pants down. If you hadn't have caused the problem, we wouldn't be here to begin with. Thanks, antivirus, for pantsing me online for the world to see, you idiots. On the plus side, I'm sure you're aware as it's kind of essential being a streamer. Uh, but if this does happen to you, generally if you unplug your modem overnight, worst case day or so, when you plug it back in and it gets all caught up, it should be a new IP. So that's a way to solve things. But yeah, it's obnoxious. On, a, on a, uh, another note though, you should use game capture because if you use game capture, then it doesn't matter what shows up on top of it. It is only capturing the game. If you monitor cap, you can bring bring problems up, which is what I'm doing now. So hopefully nothing decides to just pop it up right this second because I am monitor capping. Imagine being drunk. Imagine. I've, I'm innocent. I've never, it's never happened before. So I wouldn't know what that's like. <laughs> the thumbnail is even worse. The thumbnail just makes it look like there's a bunch of stairs at, at different angles. That, you know, I'd say for most people, you'd be okay. There's a chance this could be kind of a hazard for an old person. That would be, that would be a bummer. I just feel like you gotta think of all walks of life when you're designing carpeting on staircases. And you know, it's, it's a thing that can be falling down. So you probably just wanna make it nice and straightforward, uniform color. Like in my house, the surface of the stair is a different color from the wall of the stair. It makes great contrast, I'll tell you that much. Pretty hard to miss a stair unless you're running up the stairs and then you just jam your toe and shin yourself. Happened once, not pleasant. The way you have to put your pin in. Please enter your pin, forgotten pin. What? <laughs> They're all individual text boxes and Please enter your correct pin. I was gonna say, uh, I hope you didn't actually enter your, your real pin here. Not that we know what this is, but you know, just for safety purposes, in case somebody recognizes it. Yeah, you know, let's make them all individual text boxes where you have to swap over to the numbers every time and bring up a new text box. And let's just make it as close to the DMV custom license plate selector menu as we possibly can, because you know, that's a model to live off of. This new wall art in my office. No, everything I, Wait, I, no, everything I'm 
is possible? No, everything is possible. Everything... No? What? What it... I'm... Everything I... Is... Everything is possible. Everything is... Are you just supposed to ignore the... Oh, no... Oh. Nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. You want to know what is impossible? Reading the sign. There was an attempt at motivating workers and said you just frustrated them. And the top for the last month. This won the design competition. Well, how could it be crappy then? Capita, don't demonetize safely. Don't drive. Don't drive safely. Don't demonetize. I mean, that's a... Do you do demonetize? Nt RV. <laughs> Christmas colors. Do demonetize. That's all you want for Christmas. D but if you're gonna if you're gonna demonetize, do it safely. Don't. But if you're gonna also don't demonetize safely. If you're gonna demonetize, you should do it as unsafely as you possibly can. How did this win the design contest? It doesn't make any sense. Don't demonetize drive safely, but there's nothing to indicate that you should break apart the two lines and the colors. If you just go by separating out the colors, then it's do demonetize. And if you then take into account the, the white text, it's don't drive safely. Drive as unsafely as you possibly can. Um, that's what we recommend. Do drive safely. Don't demonetize while you drive. Apparently that's what it's supposed to say. Yeah, it says in the bottom left, I'm not sure if you can read it, but all right, that's apparently what it's supposed to say. Nope, didn't get that. All right, this is um, number one, fantastic. It won the best design and the worst design competition if crappy design is the worst design competition for the month. <laughs> all right, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. Make sure to like if you like, check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more crappy design. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and we'll end it there for this video. I'll see you next time.